These horrifying creatures were just ordinary humans, but they suffered the cruel fate of being subjects in the inhuman experiments of a Skibidi scientist. In a time when the world was carefree and far from the danger of the terrible Skibidi toilets, there lived an old scientist named Bob Hayes. <coughs> On an ordinary evening when Bob returned home, he noticed an unusual letter. He was invited to join a team of scientists who specialized in the study of human mutations. Arriving at the lab, he was informed that no one had ever seen anything like this before. The secret lab doors opened and something completely unknowable appeared before him. A horrible creature with a huge head, a toilet instead of a body, and a long neck. The scientist was not scared, on the contrary, he was excited by this creature. He was asked to study this unknown creature and uncover his secrets. After conducting a series of experiments, he realized that the creature had incredible strength, did not age, never got sick, and had superhuman intelligence. Bob realized this was his chance, a chance to create something great. He decided to use this creature to create a superhuman with limitless potential and abilities. In secret, Bob stole the creature's blood and began his experiments to create a superhuman. To do this, he needed people and he kidnapped them. Bob placed the subjects in special chambers and conducted his terrifying experiments. Help me. For many months, he tried to develop the perfect recipe for creating a superhuman. Some test subjects turned into strange creatures, others lost their minds and some simply died. After analyzing his mistakes, he developed a new and improved formula of a serum that was supposed to work. When Bob came close to the next test subject to inject him with the new serum formula, he heard a loud rumbling sound. Someone was trying to break into his lab. The secret squad who had assigned him to study the unidentified creature realized that he had tricked them. Holding a syringe of experimental serum, he had to decide between giving up or testing his invention on himself. Bob had no choice. Before the secret agents broke into the lab, he injected himself with the serum. The mutation began. As they broke down the doors, the agents were shocked. <gasps> Bob didn't become superhuman, he turned into something completely different. The soldiers opened fire, but it was too late. The monster with inhuman strength began biting each agent, mixing his DNA with their blood. In an instant, each bitten agent began to transform into something terrifying. Their bodies began to shrink, all of their bones turned into bone toilets and creepy necks, with heads extending out of them. It was a success. Bob realized that he was the new super race of superhumans. Now it's his duty to turn all humans on this planet into skibidi toilets. <laughs>